Over the years, Western countries have developed deep-seated ties with Africa, both economically and politically. However, the decision to withdraw their presence from the continent has become a perplexing dilemma. Looking at the recent happening in the Republic of Niger and other African countries, where France, for instance, has refused to leave the country despite being asked to do so by the locals, one would ask, why are the Western nations finding it difficult to let Africans and African nation to be on their own? In this video, we will explore the multifaceted reasons behind the Western countries' hesitation to fully disengage from Africa, exposing the reasons why the Europeans and the rest of the world cannot do without Africa. As the second largest continent, Africa is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. It is almost equally divided by the equator. Africa's uniqueness lies in its abundance of natural resources. The continent possesses arable land, water, oil, natural gas, minerals, forests and wildlife. Africa holds a substantial proportion of the world's natural resources, both renewable and non-renewable. With around 30% of the world's mineral reserves, 8% of its natural gas and 12% of its oil reserves, Africa is a significant player in the global resource landscape. The continent possesses 40% of the world's gold, up to 90% of its chromium and platinum, and the largest reserves of cobalt, diamonds, platinum and geranium. It also holds 65% of the world's arable land and provides 10% of the planet's internal renewable fresh water source. In many African countries, natural capital accounts for 30 to 50% of total wealth. Over 70% of people in sub-Saharan Africa rely on forests and woodlands for their livelihoods. Forest products account for an average of 6% of Africa's GDP, surpassing other continents. Central and Western Africa, where forest cover is densest, see the forest sector contributing over 60% of their GDP. Forest exports, especially high-grade woods like mahogany and okum, generate substantial revenue. Africa is a significant producer of precious metals and minerals. Key metals exported by African countries include uranium, used in nuclear energy, platinum, in jewelry and industrial applications, nickel, stainless steel, magnets, coins and batteries, bauxite, main aluminum ore, and cobalt, color pigments. The continent produced approximately 483 tons of gold in 2008, accounting for 22% of global production. South Africa is responsible for almost half of Africa's gold, with other major producers including Ghana, Guinea, Mali and Tanzania. When it comes to diamonds, Africa dominates the global market, producing 55% of the world's diamonds in 2008. Botswana, Angola, South Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Namibia are the leading diamond producers in Africa. Africa is also home to significant deposits of oil and natural gas, which are crucial for energy production. In 2007, Africa accounted for 12.5% of the world's total oil production and 6.45% of total natural gas production. Nigeria, Libya, Algeria, Egypt and Angola dominate the continent's oil industry. The exploration of oil reserves has significantly increased, with many countries striving to become first-time producers. Coal emerge as abundant resources in 22 out of Africa's 54 nations. In 2019, Manchuria stood as the continent's primary petroleum producer, 25%, followed by Angola 17% and Algeria 16%. Metals including gold, iron, titanium, zinc and copper are dominant in 11 countries, with Ghana leading as the largest gold producer, trailed by South Africa and Mali. Industrial minerals like diamonds, gypsum, salt, sulfur and phosphates are the primary commodities for 13 African countries. The DRC claims the title of Africa's leading industrial diamond producer, followed by Botswana and South Africa. Botswana also takes the lead in Africa for the production of gem-quality diamonds destined for jewelry. 
Africa's fishing industry is a vital source of income for over 10 million people, contributing to an annual export value of $2.7 billion. The continent boasts extensive fisheries along its marine coasts, inland waters, the Great Lakes and the Nile River, supporting thriving freshwater fisheries. West Africa, in particular, is a significant fishing zone, producing 4.5 million tons of fish in 2000. Namibia and South Africa are also key players in the marine fish market, exporting between 80 and 90 percent of their catch annually. In the eastern African countries of Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia and Kenya, well-established fisheries thrive in the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. The utilization of various minerals, ranging from aluminum to zinc, forms the foundation of the electronics we rely on today. A staggering 1.5 billion smartphones were sold globally in 2021, a significant leap from 122 million units in 2007. As of 2020, nearly four out of five individuals, 78%, owned a smartphone. Mined and semi-processed materials comprise over half of a mobile phone's components, encompassing electronics, displays, batteries and speakers. Key metals such as lithium and cobalt are crucial in battery production, with the Democratic Republic of the Congo accounting for approximately 63% of global cobalt production in 2019. Tantalum, another vital metal, finds its application in electronic devices, specifically tantalum capacitors present in mobile phones, laptops and automotive electronics. The DRC and Rwanda are the primary global producers of tantalum, jointly contributing half of the world's output. Africa's natural resources, favorable climate, agricultural potential and abundant forests make it indispensable for the world's survival. European nations being aware of this fact and also haven been benefiting from this resources since the time of colonization are doing everything in their power to remain in Africa. So because this continued exploitation they are not willing to go. Therefore African nations need to pay attention to the exploitation by the West. Harnessing these resources sustainably is crucial for both Africa's development and global well-being. Thanks for watching. Please at the comment section let us know what your opinion is concerning this exposition.